Welcome to my series on pet care, or rather, care of our companion animals. Now, St. Francis of Assisi called the bird the sister of the sky. Those are the sounds of exciting birds. Hi, I'm Steve Applebaum. This is Rubies. Hi, I'm Marianne Milstein, and this is Tonto, one of the only parrots that can raise his plume when they're excited or happy or angry. How much room do you have? I'm sure you don't want to buy a large bird if you have a small little area for a small little cage. This is a long cage that they have plenty of flight space. They're very colorful. They happen to be a little nervous, and they do scare very easily. All these babies that I'm showing you have, are domestic hand-fed babies. And as you can see, that's how you get them so gentle and docile. The food cup and the water cup should be large enough for your bird's head to fit in. And that there should be enough room for enough seed for the day. So they need a fairly large cage to uh, exercise and flap their wings. Birds are very, very noisy, but they can learn a nice whistle or tune ranging from a very minimal price of $30, working all the, all the way up to $150. The Romans also kept uh, birds as pets, and they were more valued than some of their best slaves. You can obviously tell the difference between a male and a female. All work and no play holds true, not only for man, but for birds. Everybody's heard about lovebirds, and everybody thinks that they're very romantic. Older birds are more stubborn in their ways and are more difficult to teach. Henry VIII, in addition to having eight wives, also had an African gray parrot. Marianne, you could also have to consider the lifestyle. I mean that if you have a big bird, it's going to take a little more time and patience. As you can see, this very colorful, but also very large, if left alone, can be very destructive in your house. That's why we recommend always keep them in a cage. You've only had a glimpse of the many hundreds of birds available today. Your bird friends are waiting for you to find them if you haven't already done so. I can think perhaps of nothing better than having a large flight cage and going in and being in your bird sanctuary, your sister spirits of the sky to love and to appreciate.